Okay, at the end of the previous video, we ended at this location where we have this um, little bit of an animation, this flick animation. And now we will be adding a cloth to these bones. And by cloth, I don't actually mean cloth. I'm actually just meaning a vector shape. So and in this instance, it will literally be a square vector shape. So I'm selecting or hitting V on the keyboard and selecting the pen tool. And then I'm just proceeding to um, add some vertices at all of the joints. Nothing special, literally just creating like a basic shape and then hitting enter to finish. And then we will give this a fill and make it black, remove the stroke. And then oh, I didn't want to add that vertices. I always do that. It's escaped there. I can see that underneath this shape, we have two paths. And I only want the one path. This was just a mistake. This was because I accidentally clicked on the stage. So I'm just going to remove that, hit delete, and then select this shape. And now if you actually go from the shape to the path, before we do that, let's call this cape. If you go to the path and select that, you can see that there's this attribute in the inspector that says connected bones. So interesting, let's hit that. And select bones that will be used to deform the image. Okay, so we will select all of these bones. And hit done. And now let's test and see if we actually have a deformation going. I'm going to select this bone and hit rotate. And nothing happens. Let's select this bone and rotate. Ah, all of them rotate. Okay, so this is interesting. So let's explore why that happened. We will select the shape. We will hit enter. And now you will see that the bones are colored. We've never seen that before. And you will also note that we have three um, tools in the toolbar, move, pen, and edit weights. We've never seen this edit weight property before. And that's only when you go into edit vertices when bones are connected. That's the only time when you'll see this, um, this tool, tool being active. So if we hit W for edit weights and then hit control A to select all of these uh, vertices, you can see that they have a blue fill, like this blue radial or blue pie chart. And that, that means all of them are associated to this joint over here or to this blue bone, sorry. And that means if you move this blue bone, all of the vertices will be affected. So what we want is we want the bones to basically only be affected, or we want the vertices to only be affected to the bone closest to it. So this bone or this vertice over here, it's obviously connected to the white one and pink. And then this one is in the middle. So it would make sense, logical sense to say white's green for this one and pink purple. So Excuse me while I quickly do that and I'll come back to you once I'm finished. Okay, I'm back. So again, we're still in edit vertices. I'm gonna hit control A and hit W to say edit weights. And then just double check that the weights assignments are now correct. So you might have noticed in the speed through that all of these add up to one. So for example, let's only select this node over here or this vertice. And you can see that the green one is 0 0.5 and the white one is 0 0.5. Let's say we want it to be associated or, or connected to the purple one as well. And we give the purple one 0 0.1, then it will proceed to take away 0 0.05 from the green and the white. It's because the total needs to add up to one. So in this instance, we just want it to be perfectly in the middle of these two. Um, and then I'm gonna hit Control A again, W for white. And as you can see, white, white, green, green, yellow, yellow. It's important to make sure that these are connected as you would expect, because you might end up with some weird animation and um, end up in a debugging loop if you don't do this. But point is we will be changing this later, or we can be changing this to kind of tweak our animation to, to the way we like. But for now, this is a, is a perfect um, starting point. So we're going to hit escape. And let's see what our animation looks like. Go to the left and then hit play. OK, and yeah, as you can see, we 
are at the point or at the starting points of having a little bit of a cloth animation. We will be um, giving it some some more zazz as we go along. Um, the first thing that we can actually do to to make this slightly better is we're going to select it, and then I am literally just going to select all of these nodes and I'm going to make them detached. Let's see what that that did for us. Animates, and as you can see, already a lot better. Okay. So now that we actually have the animation and or not the animation, the uh, vector attached to it, I do believe we can actually exaggerate th this movement a bit more. Uh, it's it's nice, but I mean, like it's it in animation, it's always a good idea to exaggerate. You don't want it to be too lifelike. And we are also going to be adding some additional um, touches to this. We are going to be adding additional bones that um, work on a constraint basis, depending on what these bones do to achieve even um, better looking cloth dynamic. So in the next video, we will touch this up.